solution and um, for those businesses that have been in the area for 30 plus, I mean, I can name you four that, you know, I know the Alba's Pizza, the, uh, I think, um, down all the way on the end, the pizza place down there near Country Lakes. Ricardo's. And Ricardo's, yes, yes. And maybe yeah. do, yeah, like a resolution, um, just to kind of like thanking them for being in the town. Um, O'Brien um, for 30 years plus. I don't know, it's just a thought promoting our town. You know, I could be, you know, going there promoting our town. So I would ask council, maybe they can look at those two things. And the last thing I would like to say that um, I did attend the Seroptimus um, candlelight vigil um, last Friday. And what happened was um, I ended up in the doctor's office all day long. When I say all day, it was all day. And Miss. Um, Catalano, she was so kind to help me. I can't stand for a long time. I have a kidney problem. Uh, my kidney has to be removed next Wednesday. And she helped me with a chair. So the area that we were in, it was kind of slanted with stone and, and that sort of thing. Although Public Works do a, a very good job keeping that up. But um, I just had to, to be there. So I went in my car and I, I got out a, a lawn chair. And lo and behold, someone so, 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 so mean came up to me and said, you just have to be in the public's eye. And I was like, and I'm trying to explain to them, no, this is the only area that would be safe for me so that I don't tip over in my lawn chair or anything. So... I felt kind of really bad because that wasn't my intent. I don't care if I never am seeing Y'all hear me tell you all the time. I don't care if you don't like me. If I'm never seeing, it's okay. But I was looking out for my safety, and thank God for her looking after her safety. And then one of our teachers, Miss Bigelow, she came forward, and she spoke on um, helping and giving and doing for others. And it was just so awesome. And... Um, before I knew it, I looked up and I saw um, Councilman Cathers come down towards me. I moved my chair because I didn't want nobody to think I wanted to be seen. So I, I definitely moved my chair, but it was sad that the man was so rude. So he came down and gave me a bottle of water. He walked down and gave me a bottle. And lo and behold, that was the thing that they were talking about, helping some body. It's not to be seen. I don't care if you never see me or anybody else. It's helping someone else one by one. I can't do much. I can't go out there and clean. But guess what? I can get two people to come out there and do the job that I can't do. I'll be in the hospital next Wednesday admitted to have that kidney removed. And um, so I felt kind of bad. I really did. I, I just... I, it's not about me being seen. It's it's just not about that. I really felt so bad. I really did. So um, I will be missing in action. Probably some people will be happy. I know you won't, Jason. You're not that kind of person. <laughs> Neither are you, Dr. Cathers. But um, I will be missing in action. I think um, next the next council meeting, that's the first time I think I've ever missed a uh, meeting. And... Um, I'm just hoping and praying that, you know, all goes well for um, that meeting and that we continue um, to get along, like Ms. Quinn often says and Ms. Jackson often says, that we get along and try to do the right thing for the residents um, of this township, not out of politics or the R's, the D's, the green, like I always talk about it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. And they'll leave from here and talk about me, too. But it's okay. God bless them. So, Council President, uh, I thank you for accepting my apologies of last week. And maybe if we consider that five-minute limit, you know, with the resolution, um, talking on the resolutions, because, uh, I mean, I could have said this in five minutes, but I'm sorry I didn't. And then maybe, um, you know, five minutes they also have on public comment, you know, maybe... You, you don't get someone with a harsh reaction to say, you know, 
Mr. Tam, I'm sorry that I'm saying this or looking at you, but, you know, now you want to hush me up because I don't think any taxpayer or who has been a taxpayer should be hushed up. I really just don't believe that, and, and I'm sorry if you do feel like that. So thank you, Council President. Thank you for your support, and um, I'll miss you at the next meeting. <laughs> I'm sure everyone in this room um, hopes and prays that your, your I know surgery you is successful. I know you will. Thank you. And that's sincere. Dr. Cathers, Thank you. First of all, my prayers go toward Ms. Jackson and her health concerns, and hopefully everything will go fine for her. Second, this is when one eats crow. I humbly admit that I said volunteer. That's all I have to say, because we do volunteer to come up to the plate, but there is a small token of financial appreciation, very small. The third, many of the items I was going to pull from the consent agenda were already pulled, hence I saw no need in pulling them from the consent agenda. Uh, some of the topics that the citizens brought up was very interesting and very front toward what the necessities is for the township. I do agree that there should be more conversations, however, we can work that out in the future when it comes time for establishing what the time frames is for the public comments. As in focusing for Sunbury Village, Sunbury Village has its own self-esteem that it's working on. I feel that it's doing extremely well. I've been back there many times uh, talking to the people in the very back. It's interesting to talk to the people who may not always be uh, socially acceptable. That's okay. There's one thing, as I've said before, there's a fine line that goes through all of us and that we are all humans and treat people as humans and life goes on very well. I could continue on for another three to five minutes. However, today I said I was going to go for one, maybe one and a half minutes and according to my Toastmasters time, I have one minute and 36 seconds. At this particular point, I'd like to say thank you for all your public comments. No matter what the degree of the public comment is, it is important to hear from our citizens to know what is actually happening within our township. With that, I would like to say, enjoy the little festivities that you will have with the, with the kids over Halloween. Have a nice day, and God bless America. Thank you, Dr. Cathers. Um, Ms. Stinney sort of uh, provided me with a, a segue into my, my public comments. Um, I'm just going to make this announcement now so it's not a shock at the next the next meeting. Starting uh, November 4th, uh, which I believe is the date of our next meeting, uh, we will be following the, the bylaws uh, to, to con conduct the way our, our meetings are, are run. Um, in an attempt to make an efficient meeting, I have been having discussions with uh, council members, the solicitor, uh, the township clerk, Amy, administration, even uh, some of the residents. Um, and um, I noticed, or we noticed, that we have not been following the bylaws um, to a T. So the bylaws were last adopted in 1999. Um, we will be following the, what the bylaws say at the next meeting. However, on the agenda, we'll, we'll have a portion of the meeting that will allow council members to discuss um, the actual bylaws. Um, you know, what they would like to see changed, possibly, or remain the same, um, and then we could implement those uh, moving forward. So, um, just so I make sure I captured it correctly, um, Ms. Stinney tonight mentioned um, the five-minute limit on public comments, um, and I'm just asking that just so we could capture it, because you will not be at the, the next meeting, mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. I have heard um, other residents, as well as council members, mention a three to five rule, so they, that might be brought up um, again as well. Uh, that being said, uh, I'd like to thank you all for, for coming out. Um, best of luck w with the one by one program. Um, I hope you all have a, a great turnout. Um, and I wish you all a, a good night and look forward to seeing you at the next meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Oopsie. Uh, can you get the mic?